All right. So in case anyone doesn't know by now, this is our year-long AFC North Pick'em competition. At the end of the season, whoever comes in last place gets punished. It's a good thing it's a year long. Yeah. Uh, in the preseason last year, Kenny had a gross of eggs thrown at him by fans in the muni lot before a game. In the preseason this year, Kenny had his head shaved, head and beard shaved clean off. Uh, ooh, that is good. I'm stopping right here for a second to say that the <laughs> commanders, commanders are leading 20 to 10, 10 and I am very ooh, excited. Uh, but yeah, so in the preseason this year, Kenny had his head and beard shaved clean off. Donated a lot of hair that day. We got to relive this every week. Absolutely, we do. Fuck you. Uh, punishment this season will be you have to go to a public pool, get in, and then publicly announce that you have peed in the pool. Yeah, I'm. I'm I, you excited? I'm regretting. You excited? Suggesting this you excited? Punishment. I feel like because <laughs> you know made, it's going to be you. I think we may need to adjust it. I feel like there could be like some legal things, like from whoever runs this pool. No, nah, they, they have to shut it down and be like, well, "You guys were just joking, but were you joking?" Like we've talked about now it. Now we're going to we, test the water. Yeah, well, we got a plan. Yeah, all we, right, we'll, all right. we'll have a backup plan too if if we can't do that. But but that's the main that's the main one. Yes. It's going to be you. The public, so. the public humiliation. Just, okay. just be excited. Yeah. Uh, but let's get into things. First things first. Uh, I want to remind everyone that Bone is the reigning, defending king of the North. Kenny, you're still a clown. Uh, so let's remind everybody. I prefer court jester. Uh, either way, you're a clown. Uh, before we actually get into our picks, uh, let's let's talk about the updated standings after week three. I sit at four and seven. This is before the Cincinnati game. We all picked it the same, so it won't really have any bearings on the standing standings. Uh, I'm at four and seven. I'm in first place. Great records this year, guys. Great records. So bad. Uh, Bone, you're at three and eight. And Kenny, right where you should be at two and nine. Last place. Um, so let's get into this week's game. Cincinnati heads, heads to Carolina to take on the Panthers. Uh, Kenny, who you got? <laughs> I mean, I thought before this Commanders game that Cincinnati was going to right the ship here um, and that they would for sure beat the lowly Carolina Panthers. But all of a sudden, Carolina's hot with the Red Rocket. Um, Former team, too. And since yeah. it looks like they may drop to 0-3 here against Washington. It's not looking good right now. Um Oh, fuck it. Let's go Carolina. Hell yes. I was going to go Cincy, but let's go Carolina. I think they ride uh, the Red Rocket a little longer. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, Chuba Hubbard was in his Hey, if was, he has another good game, they might ride the Red Rocket all season long. <laughs> Chuba Hubbard was in his bag this week. Uh, Deontay uh, J- Johnson or Jack, I can't remember the receiver's name. Deontay Johnson, I think, yeah. uh, had just a monster game. He knows uh, he knows Cincinnati this, well from his days in Pittsburgh. The whole team looked like a totally different franchise overnight with the addition of the, the Red, Red Rocket. Rocket. Yeah, Bone. Who you got? Hmm. Oh man! Did he swing you? Ah, uh, Cincinnati heads to Carolina. Man, they're zero three. They. I'm going to go Cincinnati. All right. Any reason why? I just <laughs> I, man going zero four. I don't. You just don't see him going zero four. Yes. Yeah, I just don't see him going zero four. Uh, I'm. I'm. Right there with you. We all we all picked Cincinnati to win this week, and right now they're losing twenty one to ten. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't think they were going three. Going either. three. You're right. You're right. Yeah. But uh, no, I'm right there with you, Bone. I'm I'm taking Cincinnati as well. I just don't see them going zero and four. Uh, Carolina's still not good. So um, yeah, I'm going to go with Cincinnati in this one. Um, next up here, uh, the Steelers. Uh, they make the trip to Indy to battle the Colts. Uh, Bone, who you got? I'm going Colts. I think uh, they finally end the Steelers, uh, whatever, undefeated season. Undefeated season. Yeah. That's hard to say. Uh, Kenny, who you got? Um, I unfortunately have to pick the Steelers. Um, they're starting to they're starting to gel around Justin Fields. Yeah, that yeah. offense is getting a little better each week. It feels like he's getting more comfortable. It's getting to the point now where it's feeling like Russell Wilson ever being a quarterback for this team is just not going to happen unless Justin I Fields agree. gets hurt. I agree. This and what did we like, say all offseason long? You have a much better chance yeah. throughout the season if you play Justin Fields. Right. And I, I just think that his athleticism... Sorry, Bone. That's all right. I, Russell's <laughs> washed. I think that his athleticism is a difference maker. Um, I, as much as I like the Colts in this one just because they're at home and I think like they're due because they've been playing decent football, um, I, I got to go Steelers. I think that they just continue to make our life miserable and start 0-4. For every reason that you just said... I am also going Steelers. Uh, I hate to say it, but they're going to be 4-0. Yeah. 
And it's all going to be behind Justin <laughs> Fields. Uh, it's going to close the door on Russell Wilson ever playing for the Steelers. Um, I imagine he will be on the trade block here soon. Um, well, I don't even know. Like, he's not a bad backup. No, but he's like, not a one- Justin Fields has to. But he's on a one year deal, and they're probably going to try and get what they can out of him. Sure. But, I mean, if Justin Fields does have to miss time, I'd rather have Russell Ooh. Wilson back there. Russell than- Wilson in Miami? Well, that's another exactly AMX like think of what you could get for him true. when there's quarterback needy teams out there. I still so just know like they're not paying him anything. So yeah. like, it just still good value. It feels so him. bad to say that the Steelers are going to be uh, four zero. And, and the other thing that I had here was uh, uh, Anthony Richardson. He's completing forty nine percent of his passes on the year. Yeah, forty nine. Like, I mean, that's makes, really bad. I mean, he makes big plays, but he's also just kind of careless. Yeah. So. Um, I'll just say this too is that. Um, like we talk about games the Browns should win, like Mike Tomlin teams win the games they should win. Yeah, this yeah, feels like a team like they should. This feels like the easy part of their schedule. You know, yeah. they should win this game. Absolutely. Bone, did we swing it yet? He's still. I'm going to stick with it. All right, I like that. Uh, all right, and so uh, next up here, uh, we've got the Ravens hosting the Bills. Uh, I'll go first here. Uh, I've got Buffalo in this one. Um, you know, uh, Baltimore finally got on the board this past week and beat the Cowboys. I don't think the Cowboys are that good. I think we're way worse than we thought we were, and the Cowboys are not that good. <laughs> so um, I like Buffalo in this because Buffalo's just a juggernaut right now. Like, there's nobody in that same tier as Buffalo that's that's kind of uh, separated themselves from the pack besides maybe the Chiefs, and they've got the refs on their side. So Well, they got rid of Ken Dorsey, so... A lot of dead weight there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, I, I I like Buffalo in this one, um, and I don't think it's going to be particularly close. So, uh, Bone, who you got? I'm going to go with uh, the Bills as well. We're watching them just uh, tear it up on Monday Night Football right now. Um, they're oh, just yeah. they're just good. Josh Allen is just a stud. And, I forgot we were watching that. What are they up, like 34 uh, to 10 or something like that? I think so, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah Buffalo's going to win. Nice. Kenny? Um, <clears throat> I got Buffalo as well. Give me the wings. Um, I think, uh, <laughs> I think I, uh, like we were just like, we were just talking off air a little bit. Like I think Buffalo and KC are basically the class of the AFC. Uh, yeah. Um, I think it's going to be hard for basically anybody to kind of compete with them. I think like if I had to pick today, that's your AFC championship game is probably Buffalo and Kansas city. And that's who will determine who goes to the Super Bowl. Like, and really that, that'll be the Super Bowl like yeah, that. Like, yeah. Even though it won't be in the Super Bowl, that'll be the Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean that, I mean, unless like, like San Francisco maybe again ends up there. I mean, they have a lot of talent, some injuries and things right now and have started slow, but um, yeah, like I could easily see a Buffalo San Fran Super Bowl. Sure. But I think Buffalo probably tears them up in that. Yep. They're just it just feels like they've been good for a long time and it it's feels time like, to take the next step. Yeah, it's time for them to take that next step. Or it's time for them to just have an absolute villain in Kansas City just just wrecks them every yeah. year. Like feel so one way or the if, other. Yeah, something feels so bad if they lost again. To, <laughs> something's gonna happen. But yeah. yeah, for this week against the Ravens, I'll take the Bills. Yep. And then finally, uh the Browns are in Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. Uh Kenny, who you got? <sighs> God. Um Guys, I got bad news. The Browns aren't good. This team is soft. It's just, it's just, it's full of guys getting veteran days off, guys who haven't practiced, a team full of stars that feels like are aging faster than time itself. They look disinterested. They don't care. They're undisciplined. They make fundamental mistakes. Like receiver catch the ball, running back should be able to take a handoff. We should be able to align properly pre snap. Um, and they can't or they won't do any of it. Um, your quarterback is wildly inconsistent. Certainly <laughs> at no point has looked like the quarterback you paid $230 million for. Like, I know all these problems aren't all Deshaun's fault. Um, but the reason you went and got a guy like Deshaun Watson. He was supposed to be was the game changer. Because he was the type of talent that was supposed to help you overcome that. Like, he was the difference maker. He was supposed he was to the cover guy. up the ugly. Uh, you know, the things that weren't going well. Like, his talent was supposed to be transcendent. Uh, at best, he's a game manager and a poor one at that. Like this team needs a spark. It needs a rally. It needs something that says the status quo isn't good enough anymore. Um, like I'm, I'm at break glass in case of emergency. Um, 
Like, how many times did Deshaun Watson have a chance to lead a game-winning drive on Sunday? Like five. Like, at least three, yeah. like, conservatively? Yeah. And that's what good quarterbacks do. Hell, not even good quarterbacks. P.J. Walker, DTR, Joe Flacco, they all did that last year for the yeah. Browns. Yep. And despite how bad they might have played up until that point, if you get the chance with four, you know, four-minute drill, two-minute drill— you gotta you, do you, it. You gotta do it. You gotta get done. And Deshaun has literally never done it in orange and brown, not even once. Like one time. Like look one around. Time. Look around the league. Like there's uh, there's there's not a defense of him either. That's just, that's one time. He's done it one time. Two hundred thirty million dollars got us one come yeah, from or, behind victory over the over the Ravens. One. Um, <laughs> but like look around the league, guys like Geno Smith, Kirk Cousins, Sam Darnold, Baker Mayfield, Justin Fields, Malik Willis, hell, Andy Dalton just won a game in Carolina for Christ's sake. Like. This league is full of guys that were cast off, waiting to be put in the right situation at the right time. I contend that you have a very capable one right now in Jameis Winston. Um, yep. At worst, he's going to give you the same production you're getting out of Deshaun. Uh, and look, like again, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at DefCon one, so like this is the reason for the monologue. Like something needs to change, and and to me, the only way you can do that is drastic change. Like you got to remember that it's not just Deshaun's poor play. Like how many guys, how many first round draft picks did we sacrifice for this guy? That like you can't tell me that this team wouldn't benefit right now from having three young studs anywhere else in the lineup: offensive line, defensive line, defensive backfield. Three young guys that were up and coming that could help i mean it's three out of 22 starters that's 14 percent of your roster that you traded for deshaun who's who's done nothing for you um so i just like i'm again defcon one deshaun with the sean watson trade andrew barry like him hate him like his moves don't like his moves like he signed a death warrant for this team he signed a death warrant for the team. The hourglass is completely run out. Sold a stroll, soul straight to Satan. Like for a guy that's likely a sex offender and just downright has no business playing in the NFL at this point. Like I put Stefanski in there too. Like these two, like he, like he's not powerless here. Like he's got to have a voice in that room to be able to say like what I'm watching at practice every day isn't good enough. Um, like, but the 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 fact of the matter is like this team is on a freight uh, freight train straight to hell. Like for what? For what? So we can watch that hot pile of butt release we watched yesterday. Like <laughs> the Deshaun experiment's over. Reshuffle the deck. Let Jameis try to keep this team competitive and draft a quarterback over the next two years. That can be your long term answer because Deshaun ain't him. Browns lose this game twenty to sixteen. We were waiting for an absolution <laughs> that would never come. <laughs> well, you made me even more depressed than I already was. So uh, I'll just go ahead and, and say I've got Las Vegas winning this as well. Uh, almost an identical score to yours. I'm going 20 to 17. Both of us are at the under of that 37 and a half. All right, so Bone, who do you got? All right, uh, Candy got me all fired up now. I'm I'm pissed. <laughs> um, <laughs> Deshaun is below average in every freaking way, and we were sold uh, a bag of uh, stale goods. I don't know. It just sucks. So uh, I have zero faith in the Browns right now, and I'm probably at the lowest I've ever been as a Browns fan. Ever? ever. We've been through some Dude, shit, I, man. Uh, and this is it. This well, is I'm just saying. This it, is the bottom of the barrel the, for the you. Hype, the hype, the expectations, everything that I'll has come that. with it is so dissatisfying, so just lowly and just pathetic. Um, I don't like think we've ever week, said the word lowly on our podcast last before week today. Was just, and we've man, said it like 14 I, times. <laughs> There's, That's where we're at as Browns fans. There's zero. There's nothing I can go off of. I could say the the defense could win us the game, possibly. I feel like our defense is still pretty good, but the offense is so bad. They drag our defense down all three weeks so far throughout so the bad. season. Um, it, 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 it's just hard to watch. And the Browns are going out west. They don't win out west. They don't win out west. We didn't even talk and about that yet. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's, not even, just, it's not even a factor because they're yeah, so bad. I have <laughs> very little hope in this team. And... Unless something changes, yeah, I, I can't pick them to win. So, yeah, Las Vegas, I'll go 25 to 15. Ooh. You're going I, with the over. <laughs> I like that. I mean, the thing is, like, there have been some really interesting scores in the NFL yeah. this year. So. I, I think Stefanski will go for two or something. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. yeah, what is it? Like, it's just like he just does it. Like, it's just the analytics decisions just because of analytics. Yeah. You know, like, what was the purpose of that? The future. Like, <laughs> the future. Just because he he, is, he had so little, like, hope in his offense that he's like, I, I got to score all the points I can at one time. I think you he's never so know. obsessed with his ability to, like, call an offense. Like, it's like, I'm just going to keep giving the ball to Jerome Ford. He's my guy. Yeah. I'm not giving up on him. I'm going to prove to everybody he can be a star in this league. Yeah. He's he, it, the only person in the room that he can outsmart is himself. Every time. Every time. 